Hi guys, Heather with Feather Bear Designs. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am back with the second part of the opal cup. The one from the previous video, how to opal your cup. I put the epoxy down onto the cup and then I sprinkled the glitter on top of it. And this is um, the result of that. So what I did is once it started curing, once the epoxy underneath that I sprinkled the glitter on top of started curing, I coated with another quick coat of epoxy that is not the final coat by any means. So there is little pieces of sharp glitter sticking up. You guys can see that. You see the little pieces of sharp glitter sticking up? And that's periodically throughout the cup. There's little pieces of sharp glitter sticking up. So if you have that on your cup from some of the chunky glitters, I just take a fine grit of sandpaper and this is um, 180, it's 3M no slip backing. Um, I You can put this onto different types of sanders but I just literally just hold it with my hands. So 180 grit, it's really super fine. And then I just go over the entire cup and sand down any of those pieces that are sticking up. Now I'm not trying to sand this completely smooth. I'm just sanding anything that's going to be sticking up like that right there, that I want sanded down. And then I'm going to sand the top rim to smooth out any glitter that's around that top edge. I'm going to smooth any glitter that's around the top edge that might cause some issues on the last layer of epoxy. Sorry, I know this is really loud, but you guys wanted to see how I finish it. So I'm continuing to sand down any pieces that are jagged and sticking up. Paying close attention to this bottom edge. And I'm just going to run my fingers over it and see if there's anything else that's sharp sticking up. I'm not feeling anything that's too out of the ordinary. So now we have to clean the cup. When I clean my cups, I like to use the um, cheap tea towels. I get them at Walmart. They're just, they don't leave a lot of lint behind on the cup. And because alcohol doesn't really like epoxy, I clean with acetone. 100% acetone. And I just pump that onto my little towel and get a nice little section of it wet down with the acetone. And then I wipe my cup clean. That's going to get rid of any dust from sanding. It's also going to prevent any issues with the second coat of epoxy. 
any reactions that you might have like from using alcohol or um, other types of cleaners. And then I'm just going to open the towel up. If this is stained, it's not going to get on my cup. And use this other side that's still wet from the acetone. And just wipe over it once again. And then this is going to go on my turner with a large football. Okay. The last step on this is um, right here at this point in time, you could add a decal if you want a decal on it. I'm not going to do that with this cup. At this point in time, I'm just going to show you how I would complete it. So I'm getting my epoxy. I will be right back. Okay, so I've mixed equal parts of epoxy. I use the Amazing Clear Cast from Alumalite.com. For those that don't know, for the month of February, there is a discount code. It is yours truly for Alumalite.com. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. It's making some cute noises. Not sure what that's about. Okay, so I'm making sure I'm watching my cup as it's turning to make sure that it's turning level. If it comes around and it looks like it's kind of going up and down, it's not level on the football. So mine looks like it's pretty level. Okay. I apply my epoxy with a gloved hand. And I mixed my epoxy for about four minutes slowly. So hopefully you can see what's going on here without me being too much in the way. Once, after you've sanded a cup, it looks kind of dull. Once you apply another layer of epoxy to it, it shines it right back up. Just make sure you're not sanding too deep and sanding into your glitter. My only purpose for sanding on this cup was to get rid of any sharp edges that were sticking up from the chunky glitter. And when I'm doing these cups, personally, when I'm done coating the entire cup, and I have epoxy on the entire thing, making sure I don't have any bare spots, feeling with my fingers. That's why I like doing it with my fingers, because I can feel if there's any spots that need attention. Okay. I like to go back and just dump some epoxy on there. So if I have a little epoxy left, I like to just gently, a little bit at a time, Drizzle it up and down the cup. Not too thick. Otherwise you'll just get ripples and bumps and whatnot. Just a little thin line. One full rotation on the cup. And then I go a little bit more at the top here. And then a little bit more at the bottom. Let that run down both the sides to get a nice thick coat on the top and the bottom. Okay. Now, this is going to be completely smooth. If you want it to be completely smooth before you put your decals on, then after this step cures, which takes about six to eight hours typically, 
you could apply your vinyl decal to that. And if I decide to put a vinyl decal on this cup, then I will certainly film that process as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the final step of this opal cup. The glitter that was used on the cup is Harlequin Opal. That was That's my glitter that I sell. You can purchase that from um, Feather Bear Bling on Facebook. The website is temporarily closed down while I'm fulfilling orders, but if you join the Facebook group, Feather Bear Bling, then um, you will get the notifications as to when the website opens back up. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.